what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about batman issue 133 so good news guys i'm pretty much caught up on my comics which means there's about to be a whole lot of content coming especially spawn <laughs> we're about to be reviewing all the spawn books i haven't talked about anyways but today we are talking about batman issue 133 now here's the thing I did not really read the backup story. I know what happens. So, I guess. Tim takes the toy man and he goes to different places and saves a bunch of people and is now looking for Batman. That's the backup story. Anyways, let's talk about the main story and why we're here. So, we see this world's Riddler. Um, we're going to call him Red Riddler. <laughs> but we see Riddler here asking these children riddles and they're obviously stressed out they cannot solve the the puzzle um and it's disappointing obviously to the riddler and uh yeah so what happens is batman shows up and uh he decides to in the words of braun Strowman, give these people them hands so this is obviously a different gotham so batman takes out the thugs he gets to uh the riddler and he literally says the words the the he, he says the, the line he says i'm vengeance now clearly he says i'm their vengeance but he is vengeance he is batman which is awesome to see um i like that uh obviously this book though not drawn by george jimenez um it's drawn by uh mike hawthorne if i said that name right so then we see Selena with the red mask here, uh, saying that it was Bruce Wayne that did this, who was dressed up as a bat, but not this world's Bruce Wayne, because obviously Bruce Wayne in this world is dead. Um, Selena is unhappy that they have been using kids for experiments. She said that's the only reason why she would work with red mask, is as long as he didn't use kids, which results in her getting absolutely blasted in the face by red mask. Saying children is uh, the fastest growing demographic of mental health disorders. So, of course, he's going to, like, use them. Now bring him the Batman, he says. So, Batman is theorizing on who is in charge here. He assumes that this the main guy is actually this world's Joker. So, he digs up Bruce to figure out how Bruce died. He wants to know how this world's Bruce is dead. And so, uh, this world's Alfred shows up. And Bruce is like, look, I was raised by alfred alfred was a good man and i'm gonna do what i can do best because i was raised by a good man so i need to figure out how this happened so i'm taking this bruce wayne to solve the problem so he goes back to the hospital he goes to figure out what was going on obviously jill helped him and everything but he has to go fight two-face now or just then so they're gonna go brawl out in the middle of the damn road it's gonna be epic so, the fight happens. Well, Dent in this world actually takes the Venom. So, he's kind of like Bane and Harvey Dent combined, pretty much. And uh, But here's the thing. Batman has been fighting for so long, he actually knows how to take advantage of this strength. And so, um, he does. He, he wins the fight, of course, because, you know, I'm Batman. But, uh, yeah, which results in this uh, line where he's wanting to know he's working for but selena in truth like intervenes and says he doesn't know who's actually working here he just takes the orders but i know i know who's in charge so if you want to know follow me but batman of course thinks it's you know it's a trap because this selena is not his selena so he wants to know why he should trust her um and she tells him that look they're experimenting on children you know so I don't like that, and if so, I'm going to give you the information you need to be able to stop him. And he brings up Arkham Asylum, but she was like, "This is how like Arkham Asylum has been gone for years." Um, but here is the Arkham Caves, and this is where they keep all the uh, crazy people as um, that have been, you know, experimented on by Red Mask. And then obviously, here's the backup story where. Tim Drake is taking out the Toy Man to save all these people. Um, and then after he saves all everybody here, he goes uh, back to 
the right, his right world, and then they all, he's going to be going after Batman, so, but yeah, that's, uh, Batman issue 133, uh, it's picking up a little bit, um, I, I, I'm enjoying the Sadarsky run for sure, uh, I just know he can produce even better high quality storytelling, and I can't wait to see what he does in the future, I wonder, I don't know how long his run's going to be, but, I think he's going to take it to new heights pretty soon. But that's going to do it for this video. And the next one you will see is on Superman issue two, which I'm going to be honest with you, I think is a better book than this. But that's just me. I love Batman. Batman was like a favorite character of all time behind Spawn. And anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Let me know what you think of the book. I thought it was good. Peace out.